right, let's talk uh, microbiomes exactly. now. Uh, a lot of times when we hear microbiomes, we think of fungi, bacteria, mm -hmm. and you automatically have a negative kind of thought process towards it. However, you would be wrong because microbiomes has a, actually has a, uh, plays an important role in keeping us healthy. Right, and this is something that is just, uh, you know, something that I just found out too. Mm -hmm. Now, one such company that offers products, and you know, as we've seen, there are plenty of products uh, to choose from to maintain our microbiomes is Nucentix. It is the first genomic tech company in Asia focused on microbiome research. And of course, to find out more about this, we have our guest, uh, Masrefata Utama, the co-founder and chief technology officer of Nucentix. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Masrefata. Masrefata. Thank you for joining us here on hey. the Sea Morning Show. Appreciate it. Um, first of all, let's talk microbiomes. Tell us about uh, the role microbiomes play in our bodies and our day-to-day -day, uh, health. Right. Good morning, Paul and Carol. Uh, thank you so much for inviting us here. Um, so when we talk about microbiome, microbiome itself is a collection of bacteria, virus, fungal, and also archaea. And they live on... Um, all, all the intestines, area, the mm. skins, the lungs, and the mouth. So basically anything that connects to the outside world from our perspective. Okay. And they are actually very important for our immunity because they are the one who trains mm -hmm. our immune system mm -hmm. and they consist of the first defense line to whatever happens uh, from the outside. Mm. Um, so take for example the skin itself. Uh, we have the uh, microbiome and then the skin. Uh, so the microbiome, you can think of them as the uh, soldiers before the um, castle walls. Okay. Right, and it's just you know very interesting to find out. It turns out these you know microbiome can be used in several products itself. Now, now talking about your genomic tech company itself, why were you interested in microorganism now, Mas Refana? Yeah. So basically, um, before um, the the advance. Uh, of this uh, genomics technology, we learned that microbiome is, consists of the bacteria and virus. And with the pandemic that is going on right now, you mm -hmm. know that when you talk about virus, it's a bad thing, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But then with this advancement of genomics technology, uh, you understand that actually microbiome is important for us. They actually train our immune system and they are the first line of defense for us. So that's why Nusantics are looking uh, into the genetics of these microorganisms, the small things in our life that um, actually can, can students to our human health as well. So uh, basically you're saying we have control of our own microbiomes as to how we, we can dictate how healthy we can be through either products. Is it through food as well, things that we consume? Yeah, that's right. Um, so think about it this way. Uh, when we say we learn about genomics, genomics is, is basically sets of genes from an organism. Mm -hmm. um, so if you think about genetics, it's mostly fixed when you are born with it. Mm -hmm. You are born with it, basically. Uh, but then microbiome consists of these living things on us, 50% of us, and they actually uh, changes every time we go somewhere else, every time we do something else, every oh. time we eat a different thing. So there is a study showing that actually if you eat um, fast food all the time, uh, the majority of the microbiomes are the one that can digest that fast food. And then it affects your gut system, it affects oh. your skin system, it affects your brain as well. So, so what are some of the... Yeah, so what are, what are some of the uh, uh, bad effects of somebody who has an unhealthy microbiome in their system? So in science, we learn about the gut, skin and brain um, axis. So when things change in your gut microbiome where it's not so good and it causes dysbiosis or the, uh, the out of balance from the microbiome perspective, it's actually affecting your inflammation system, it's oh, affecting wow. your immune system, mm -hmm. and it causes a lot of uh, challenges like um, IBS, your bowel syndrome, and then mm -hmm. your skin as well gets inflamed, it gets acne, and then also it affects your mood. Ah, yeah, so it, it could just be things that we don't even know that has to do with our microbiome. Right. These sound like symptoms that people would just suffer and they wouldn't realize. Correct, and everything about health, it starts from your mouth itself, you know, regarding yeah. what is stated by Master Fata. Now, we know that Nusantic specializes on microbiome research, and we've known also about your skincare products. So what separates your skincare products than other brands uh, that is outside in the market? Nusantix itself, uh, we offer biome scan. So um, first of all, we encourage customers to actually check their skin microbiome profile mm. because by doing that, you will get a personalized approach to your skincare. 
So uh, before then, uh, you might try and you do a lot of trial and error on the kind of skincare that is good for you, but be, by trying the Biomscan, you know the pers um, profile of your bacteria and fungal. So then from there, if you know that you have a lot of fungal on right. your skin, we suggest not to use a lot of oil-based skincare. Ah. So this and then is we do in-house researches. Right. Yeah, in a way. You, you can basically tailor you know, tailor exactly. it to what you need. Yes, because customize the What I usually here. do is, I, wow. oh, nice bottle. Oh, it smells nice. Okay, I'll exactly. try. Exactly. But the if something happens, then I'm like, oh, yeah. I better not use this anymore. But that's uh, that's kind of a dangerous approach if you think about it, approaching it blindly. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what other benefits uh, can we uh, reap from having healthy microbiomes? Us, apart from maintaining, uh, you know, a healthy skin and uh, well, nice looking skin too, I guess that all goes hand in hand. Well, there's a lot of research going on between the microbiome effect towards our immunity. And it's very, very important, especially in this uh, current pandemic situation. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you try to maintain your health so that you fight off this virus that affects your lungs. And within our lungs, there's mm -hmm. actually microbiome as well. So um, the balance of microbiome is very important for our health. Right. And, you know, speaking of the pandemic itself, mm -hmm. um, other than, you know, the benefits of uh, microbiome for skin and beauty, also, again, like as you said, you know, COVID-19 pandemic. And we heard that you also had invested uh, your uh, research, invented PCR COVID-19 test method, which is done by gargling. So we saw this in the package just now. Mm -hmm. So does it work? What's the efficacy on this, uh, Masrafata? Right, so we, uh, at first we designed a test kit for Indonesian government, uh, uh, we call it the m 19 and it's been used by uh, the country for about 5 million tests. Mm -hmm. And then for the gargle itself, we thought of, um, you know, it's quite painful to get your nose swapped every time you want to travel or mm -hmm. every time you want to check your health status. Mm -hmm. So then we thought of a way to get, basically uh, get the viral particle from your mouth area. And we realized that by gargling uh, on the throat area, we can get viral particle. And we did research back in um, 2020 with um, RSND and RSDECA uh, hospitals in Semarang. Um, we get an efficacy of 93% wow. for CT below 35. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 so, so, can you walk us through how does it work? So, do we get do we get a certain liquid that we have to gargle with? How much? How long do we have to gargle? And how long does it taste, uh, take for us to get our results? Sure, of course. Um, here I have a box of uh, the bio saliva. Oh, cool. We call it the bio saliva. Mm -hmm. um, within this box, there is the blue uh, tube and then the red tube. Uh, the okay. blue tube consists of the gargle solution. So you basically put that in your mouth, uh, get the solution in, and then gargle while looking up. Mm -hmm. So that you gargle on your throat. So you don't you don't switch them, you gargle them. Okay. And then after gargling for 45 seconds, you put it back into the tube by uh, through the funnel that is provided, and then you mix the collection buffer in. And that actually preserves the viral particle for about 30 days in room temperature. So it solves the logistics problem that we oh. face right now through the cold chain distribution as well. Right. right. So you can actually, uh, and you know, you can actually do this yourself, and you don't have to be in a rush. To, right. <laughs> it's a whole month. Is there any age limitation for this, uh, Masrafata? Uh, not really. As long as you can gargle. Ah, everybody Caroline's can use asking this. because her kids hate getting PCR swabs, yes. and I don't blame them at all. Yes. I see and kids. And they do it me. weekly, you know. <laughs> you know, God bless their nose uh, for hopefully with this, you know, it's kind of like suits and wouldn't terrify them every time they know they have to take the test, uh, you know, every week itself. Now, Masayvata, any future planning or projects that you'd like to share with us uh, from the Santec itself? Yeah, so um, let's talk back uh, about the microbiome itself. Mm -hmm. um, we right now apply the microbiome technology and an understanding to the skin itself, but then we also are looking into the gut microbiome and also the environmental microbiome. Because microbiomes are basically everywhere and it's uh, it can be applied to soil as well, so agricultural stuff, mm. um, fisheries on the water microbiome side, or even uh, in terms of the air scan where we do um, uh, checks on the COVID-19 viral load in the air. 
Now, uh, speaking a little bit about, I want to touch a little bit on uh, gut microbiome since you did mention it. Um, there has been a lot of focus all, uh, recently about how, how diets can affect that. Um, a lot of people, you know, sometimes go on these fad diets or they go mm -hmm. fasting, um, but they don't realize that we do need to have a healthy gut micro microbiome. And not only that, it's something that we can't see, so it's hard for us to uh, get a read as to how healthy our gut microbiome is. What say you on this topic? Um, how do we, first of all, um, uh, get a read and get an idea of how healthy we are within our gut when it comes to microbiomes, and how do we maintain a healthy gut microbiome? So it's the same with the biome skin for skin. Uh, okay. We uh, basically, in the future, we can collect the feces of every individuals, and then we analyze them through our genomics technology. Uh, and then we can get a composition of the bacteria inside and from there we can actually give you a personalized diet as well. Okay. Because, um, you know, there are studies showing that certain um, bacteria actually cause obesity. Oh, and really? from there we can actually give uh, yeah, a personalized diet for you to actually change that composition so that in the future, um, you know, your diet might help you to get your, you know, the weight that you want. Sure. How, so how do you measure, how do you do these tests? We're very unfamiliar with this. So when, if you test the skin, is it an actual physical thing that you have to do? Because with the gut, that's on the inside. So how, how do you do these uh, tests? So at Nusantix Hub, we have this uh, service called the Biome Scan, uh, okay. where customers come in, we do interviews for them, we right. understand how, uh, what their lifestyle is, and then from there we swap their skin. Oh, okay. So it's That's basically the same as COVID-19 test, but it's not on your nose, but it's actually on the skin. Oh, and everything right. can be so, read from there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Sometimes that's why the skincare is very customized also, very adjustable to that you makes know, a lot what of you sense. need. Yeah. Anyways, Masra uh, Fata Utama, thank you very much for being here with us. Thank you so much. Uh, it has been a very fruitful discussion. We know that we're going to see more of you, especially in the development of Nusantix in the near future. Thank you so much and stay safe, Masra Good Fata. Good stuff, Masra Fata. Thank you. Thank you, Paul Cheers. and Carol. Stay Have a great safe. morning.